part two of this video will cover how to attach a stop loss and a take profit once the order has already been placed. So what we need to do is simply right click on the contingent order pad and go create contingent order. Alternatively, you can right click on the open position that you want to set the stop loss for and go create contingent order from here as well, okay? So just bring up this contingent order pad and what we need to do is, let's say we're just trying to set a stop loss without a take profit. We need to make sure that the destination says fixed contingent, fixed CO, all right? We put in the security, which in this case is CBA. Now, the fixed price base, we, we would usually leave to last, the last traded price. You can also choose this to be the bid or the ask, all right? I'll, I'm gonna leave it at the last traded price. Now, the condition is very important. On a long position, so because we're currently long CBA, where we're holding 100 units, we need to make sure that if we're setting a stop loss, we want the, the condition to be less than or less than or equal, all right? So let's say I want to set the stop loss at $75. So again, I would put in $75, okay? Now this here acts as the trigger, and the right-hand side of the screen will act as our action or, or the order that we're putting through to the market. So in this case, because we're long CBA, we need to sell the units that we're currently holding, all right? So make sure that this box is, is sell and not buy. Uh, make sure that all of the details are, are already filled. So the volume, if you right click from, from CBA and hit create contingent order, the volume should automatically come up for you. If you do it from the contingent order pad, you may need to put in the volume yourself, okay? And choose a price, uh, whether this be market to limit. So once it's hit $75, you just get out at the best, trade, at the best possible price, or you can choose a price that you're willing to accept down to. So. Once the price hits $75, you're willing to accept the price down to, let's say, $74.95, okay? Now, once you place this, once you, you just need to hit OK, and you'll see it come up in the contingent order pad, all right? Now, if I want to amend or delete this order, you, again, you just need to right-click and hit Amend Contingent Order or Delete Contingent Order. What I'm going to do is delete this order and show you how to place a order uh, with a take profit and a stop loss. So the same process, we're going to create a contingent order. We then type in the code again. Now, sorry, in this case, we need to make sure that the destination is set to OCO, which stands for one cancels other. The reason why we need to have this set is if our take profit, for example, is triggered and the order is filled, so we have we are out of the market with a profit, we want to make sure that the stop loss that we had in place is deleted from the market because if the price turns around, we don't want that short order uh, to, to be sent through and traded in the, on the market. So that's what one cancels other means. So you'll see that you had two legs here. We just click on the first leg, all right? It'll again be a fixed CO. So type in CBA, the last price, less than or equal to, we'll do the stop loss first, $75, okay? We will, because we're long, we need to sell, so put the action to sell, put in the volume of units, 100 units, and in this case, we'll choose it to be a market to limit style order, all right? Once you're happy with the first leg, we'll then go on and set the second leg, so this will be the take profit. So again, the destination is a fixed CO, all right? The Contingent security is CBA. Last last price, uh, greater or equal is you know you can also choose greater than if you'd like. I'll choose greater or equal. Uh, let's say seventy eight dollars. Okay, and again we'll sell our one hundred units. Market to limit. All right. Now we hit OK. Now we'll just make sure that this looks OK. So CBA, the last traded price is less than or equal to $75. Then we're going to sell 100 units, market to limit. So that's the stop loss and the take profit. For CBA, if the last price is greater than or equal to $78, then we will sell 100 units, market to limit. If we're happy with that, we click yes, all right? And you'll see that come up in your contingent order pad as well. All right, scrolling across, we'll We'll give you the details.